Hey going guys, it's Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 and here we have a quick different video that you guys are used to. At the moment I'm using my old Note 3 to film this because this puppy you see right in front of you is what I normally film with, but this video is regarding this camera. Now, this is the Panasonic FZ1000. Fantastic camera, I use it for all my videos, indoor, outdoor, slow motion shots, you name it, it's fantastic, it does great video and it does pictures. The only problem with this camera is that it is region locked. So in America it's NTSC and in Australia it's locked to power which for some silly reason, I don't know why, other cameras are just a simple um, function or setting menu that you can just change it like that. But with Panasonic they've made it a little bit difficult and as of today I wasn't aware that, you know, I thought it couldn't be changed. I've looked various forums and stuff like that but it can be and I will show you how to do that. Alrighty, now I couldn't find specific instructions for the FZ1000, but I did find ones for the G7, Panasonic G7, uh, sorry, which worked perfectly fine for this camera as well. So as you can see, I'll just show you what I'm dealing with here, because I'm from Australia, and if I go to video, record quality, as you can see, it's 50p, 25p, and if I go to, for example, slow motion, it's only 100 frames per second. I want 30, 60, and 120. So I will show you what to do. Now as it's in IA mode, I want to put it in P mode and then turn it off. Simple so far. Now what we need to do here, you need to hold WB, white balance, display, AFAE lock, and turn the camera on at the same time. Once you've done that, it's fairly simple. Now, all we need to do now is you go in to play mode. Now you want to push ISO, AE lock, and turn it off at the same time. And if you see that, um, what's that uh, exclamation mark? It's happy days. Now, if I turn it on, as you can see, if I get this camera to refresh, sorry, and get... A nice crisp picture as you can see there it's updated so if I go to record quantity I can see now it is 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames a second before that was 60p hunky-dory now also if I change the um, high-speed video to on let me take off 4k mode oh sorry I have to go into movie mode here now if I go, sorry, where am I, high speed video on, I go back out, as you can see here, it is 120 frame rates per second. Beauty! Okay, if you ever want to go back to the original, all you need to do is make sure it's in P as well. Now, menu set and Y balance and turn it off. And as you can see here, it says that's the original firmware. Click right. And right again, and there we go. It's going to reboot in to the original firmware that, or in the original format that the actual camera came in. There we go. Here, set clock. Happy days. I'll set it at that. And there we go. It's been set. So let me focus on this. And there we go. Now, if I just do that again, as you can see here, it's back to originally was camera. There we go. 50p, 25p, and the uh, slow motion will be. Um, here we go, camera. High speed video on. 100 frames a second. Happy day. So that was it, guys. I will leave the link in the description of the video where I, found, I got the source from. So the guy who made this original video should get all the credit for that. Um, any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Do this at your own risk, guys. I'm not taking any responsibilities or anything like that if you brick your camera or anything like that. But from my um, experience, and I've played with this for a fair bit of time now, nothing's happened. Everything's worked as per normal. Only thing you will get, every time you turn the camera off, you'll get that exclamation mark in the beginning, which is no big deal. But if you want, I'll show you quickly how to do it all again. 
make sure the camera is in P. Turn it off. A white balance, display, AFE lock, and turn it on. Push play. Up on ISO that and turn it off. As you can see, there we go. Once we turn it back on again, everything is changed. If I go to video mode, you can see high speed video. If I turn that on, or oh, there you go, 60p. High speed video is off, but if I turn it on to movie mode, there we go, it's 120 frames a second. Happy day. So, only thing I notice with this is when you turn it off, you will get this symbol, but that's no big deal. But that's fine by me as long as I get those frame rates that I wanted when I purchased this awesome camera. So, like I said, any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. This video is a little bit different to all my other ones, and sorry about the crappy quality. I'm filming with my uh, Note 3, but Anyway, hope it gets the message across. Thanks, guys. See you later.